Olivia Young's receiver teacher. Uh, back in today with another class session episode. Uh, this is a little thank you video for a thousand subscribers. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to read a defense. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't already, make sure you go to receiverteacher.com and fill out your email in our contact form to gain access to our free two week training program dropping very soon. All right. The goal of the program is to erase all bad habits from your route running and establish a new foundation of the proper route running fundamentals. All right. So again, if you haven't done that, make sure you go to receiver receiverteacher.com and fill out your email. All right. Step one, if you haven't watched my video, how to read a safety show, you should go watch that first. But basically you got to know how many safeties are deep, all right? Is there one safety or two safeties? So the middle of field right here is closed. There's one safety, and you know you can expect any cover one or cover three. So right off the bat, when you see one safety, you know it's either cover one or cover three. So you've already narrowed it down to two options. Now, when you see two safeties, all right, a middle of field open defense, you can expect cover two or cover four. So you've narrowed it down again to only two options. All right, next you want to look at the leverage of your defender. What side is he trying to take away? Right here, the defender is head up to inside shade. And we can see right here from this picture, he's at the bottom of the numbers, all right? They're out wide, and he wants to use the sideline as his friend. He wants to force an outside release where you don't have as much space, all right? He doesn't want you to take the inside because maybe he doesn't have help inside. Now, on the flip side, if he's outside, all right, he wants to force an inside release, all right? Keep everything in front of him where he can see it. So you see this a lot with cover three, cover four, or even cover two zone. All his help is inside, all right? So again, you see this a lot in zone coverage, although some corners such as Champ Bailey have had success with his own technique playing main coverage. But usually when a guy's outside shade or he's off at depth, it's usually zone coverage. And when he's at the line of scrimmage inside shade, all right, it's usually main coverage. Now another key, all right, you want to look at the contours of the defense, all right? How the entire defense is lined up. So it's middle of field closed, one safety, all right? So we know it's either cover one or cover three. Now, looking at this picture, all right, the entire defense is on the same level, all right? They're all down flat to the line of scrimmage, either pressing or close to it. The defense is probably sending pressure right here. From this picture, you can tell it's cover one. Now, if we look at this picture, all right, again, one safety, middle of field closed. So you know to expect cover one and cover three. But now look at the rest of the defense, all right? Both corners are on the same level, all right? They're both outside shade. I'm outside shade because my help is right here. I want to maintain my leverage, all right, and force them inside to my help, which is this middle of field safety. Also, you should notice that the linebackers and uh, the strong safety in this case is not down to the line of scrimmage like we saw in this picture. This right here is an indicator of man coverage. Again, if we look at this picture, one safety, middle of field closed, corners off and outside, all right, outside leverage here. Another way you can tell right here is the nickel or the safety in this case, all right, he's inside of the number two. Usually in the cover one, if both these guys are down, he would be outside leverage and not give up that out route because he knows he has help inside. But in a cover three, this guy needs to get a jam on the number two and not give up a free release up the seam. Because this is what that looks like right here. If you haven't watched my video, um, cover three variations, this is a cover three sky, right? So the safety is rotating down. And you'll see he gives up a free release, and he's wide open in between the two deep third safeties, all right? Deep third players, I mean. He ends up taking a hit, but look how easy that is. That's why this guy has to force an outside release or at least get a jam on before going to the flats, right? So you can tell right here that both these guys are getting to the flats. These guys are deep third. Uh, deep middle field safety, deep third, all right, cover three. All right, so now we're going to move on to the two safety or middle of field open coverages. All right, so like I said earlier, uh, when it's two safeties, you can expect cover two or cover four. Right here, we're looking at cover two zone. Right here, they get a late rotation, all right, and notice how the corners are always outside leverage, all right? They want to force an inside release so you're closer to this guy. But if you take an outside release and you're down the sideline, all right, those five yards can be the difference between you know, an interception or a big hit and a catch, all right? So again, same thing we saw with cover one and cover three, all right? You can often tell it's zone coverage by the contours, all right? These guys aren't necessarily blitzing, all right? These guys are off, eyes inside, all right? Eyes inside, eyes inside, eyes inside. Now it's two safeties, middle of field open, and pre-snap, these guys are head up to outside leverage at about five yards, all right? That's a clear cover two zone indicator. 
Now cover two man, all right, again, two safeties, middle of field open. But now it's man coverage, all right? These guys are down to line scrimmage, all right? These guys are manned up, all right? These guys are manned up. These linebackers as the first guy out of the backfield, and this is how we're going to rock, all right? Cover two man. Now, again, if you didn't watch my uh, breakdown of all the coverages, all right, I talk about motions, all right? An easy way to get to uh, identify if it's man or zone is motions, all right? If this guy motions across and this guy follows him, you already know it's man. But if this guy motions across and then these guys just bump down, all right, everyone just bumps down, uh, just rotates, then you know it's zone. All right, so cover two man. Now we got cover four. Again, two safeties, middle of field open. And now these guys are off at depth again and outside leverage. All right, they want to force you inside to their help. All right, force you inside to their help. And the whole point of cover four is not to give up any deep shit. All right, third and 10 right here. All right, and they're in a cover four. They want you to take a nice little three yard out and then they're going to rally to the ball. And lastly, pre snap, you always want to be looking at the box. All right. Box right here in between the tackles, all right? You want to be looking for blitzes, all right? This is a clear indicator of cover zero. So man coverage, man coverage, man coverage. You see there's no safeties deep, all right? This guy's lined up over his guy, over his guy. And now look at all these guys inching to get to the quarterback, all right? If you're one of these slot receivers right here, you should be yelling, blitz, blitz, blitz. And then right here, just run a nice little quick slant right as they clear out right here, all right? And guess what happens? Boom, quick slant. Takes it to the house because there's no help over top. There's no safety. All right, so just to recap, step one, identify the safety shell. Is there one or two safeties? Step two, look at the leverage. Is your DB inside shade or outside shade? Is he lined up at the line or is he off at depth? Next, check the contours of the defense. All right, is everyone on the same level or are they all on different levels? And lastly, make sure you check the box. All right, and identify if there's a blitz coming. And if so, get open fast, go score. All right, so I really hope this helped. If it did, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment what you want to see next. Uh, thanks again for uh, 1,000 subscribers. Um, make sure to follow us on all platforms at Receiver Teacher. Um, go to receiverteacher.com, fill out your email for that free program if you haven't. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next video. Peace out.